what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video man just finished the live stream reaction for smackdown with the homies dub and sir dance a lot man appreciate everyone that was a part of the stream joined in commented we had a good time as always but boy oh boy did this show end on an amazing note we got to talk about the whole bloodline storyline obviously it's one of the best things on wwe television and roman reigns uh returned tonight to get jay uso's answer so before we get into that they start off the show they come into the arena roman solo paul Heyman, and um uh, I believe it was Kayla Braxton was trying to get some answers. They pretty much didn't say nothing to her or whatever. They go to a um, a backstage segment. And you noticed on the table behind them, the three championships. The Universal Championship, the WWE Championship, and then the Undisputed Universal WWE Championship. The chat noticed it. I noticed it. We all did. <clears throat> and I was so confused because I'm thinking... Well, maybe Roman's going to only show up with the new championship they just gave him a couple weeks ago. But apparently, he's still going to be walking around with all three championships. So, it's just, I don't know. It, it's just so, it's, it's a weird visual because it's like, well, if he ever defends his title, which championship is he going to defend? I'm guessing the new one will be the one that he defends, but... He's just walking around with the other ones as like a, a trophy because their reign respectively is still going on. So is this new championship they gave him just like just exclusively for Roman? I don't know. But essentially, Roman has three titles. And one of those titles are supposed to be a combination of the two titles that he has. So that's a very big confusing thing if you guys actually have a better understanding on what's going on with all three titles him walking out with three titles at one time and how that's going to play about let me know because i think it's all convoluted and confusing but ne nevertheless they were in the locker room area and he pretty much was telling paul Heyman, it's your job to figure out what jay's going to do it's not my job figure out what he's going to do so later in the show Paul Heyman runs into Jay and he's pretty much gaslighting. He's gaslighting, telling Jay, <clears throat> this is all Jimmy's fault. This is the only reason why you lost the title last week was because of Jimmy. Jimmy doesn't miss. He purposely kicked you. All of this happened because of Jimmy. We're trying to groom you, Jay. Jimmy is jealous of you. He's just gaslighting and he basically wanted to know is he was if he was going to be in or out and what jay said um tonight is what he said last week if i'm in you out that's basically what it is he doesn't want paul Heyman involved in the bloodline anymore if i'm in you out <clears throat> so paul Heyman goes back to tell the tropical chief what's going on and they pretty much <laughs> Roman gets pissed and then Solo looks like he's about to strike him and Paul Heyman makes this whimpering noise and scurries on out of there I thought that was hilarious so <clears throat> Roman uh, is talking to Solo and Solo's like do you want me to handle this? He's like nah everything will be okay because he thinks Jay's gonna fall in line regardless so we get to the end of the segment <clears throat> Roman does his usual, usual stuff. Now, Jimmy, all this other stuff. Jay comes out there. Actually, before we even get to that segment, there's a segment where Jay's walking down, walking around in the back area, and he sees Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn sitting on a production crate. Doesn't say a word. He says he says things without saying anything. He gives him that look like, you know what you got to do, Jay. And he just walks off. He doesn't say a single word. He just looks at him, gives him that look like you know what you need to do, walks off, and that's it. I like that. Nothing else needed to be said. So we get back. Jay comes out. <clears throat> He's pacing back and forth. And pretty much, <clears throat> Roman is like, what you gonna do? What's your decision? Or whatnot. And then Jay is, is kind of, you know, pleading his case. You know what I'm saying? He basically said, I'll be in if he's out. 
And Roman's like, well, look, when you become tribal chief, you can appoint your um, um, head of council. You know, you can appoint your wise man. But at the end of the day, I'm the head tribal chief. He's our wise man, but not for just me, for the entire bloodline or whatnot. <clears throat> so he's trying to get Paul Heyman out the mix. Roman's like, nah, that's not going to happen. I'm, you know, I run things still. When you run things, then that's okay. And they're pretty much gaslighting him too because he's like, look, at the end of the day, Jimmy's jealous of you. You know, Jimmy wants to be in, in your position. I'm trying to groom you to be the next tribal chief, the me main event, Jay. I'm doing that. You know what I'm saying? Jimmy doesn't care about that. Jimmy comes out there. No music. Just walks out there. And he's basically telling him, like, hey, you going to listen to him? He don't give a damn about you. He's never cared about you. You know, like, it's, it's supposed to be me and you, not him or whatnot. And then once again, Roman tries to flip it. He's like, oh, I bet you didn't know that when I was trying to make you, you know, right man Jay, Jimmy didn't like that. And then they kind of swerved and they turned it as if now Jimmy knows the truth. Because he asked Paul Heyman, he's like, what? who didn't want Jay to be my right-hand man? And then Paul Heyman said it while saying he looked at him, like kind of pointed to, uh, to Jimmy. So now it's like this big revelation that Jimmy didn't want Jay to be in the position he was in this entire time. So Jimmy started, uh, uh, started you know, kind of going back and forth with his brother. Even another moment, which I thought was great, was when uh, Roman even started gaslighting both of them. Well, kind of talking down to them. He's like, bro, y'all, y'all, <clears throat> since, you know, I became tribal chief, you know what I'm saying? Y'all been main events, main event Usos. People didn't even really know who y'all were. Y'all was going 10 years without main event in WrestleMania. And with me, y'all been main event in WrestleMania. So now their goal is to turn Jay on Jimmy and it looks like it's working. At this point, I'm like, oh, no, they're dragging this out because Jimmy starts going off on Jay. You know, he starts pretty much talking about how he was, you know, Mr. Prom King and all this other stuff. And he's the older brother. You always have to look up to him and like kind of living in his shadow situation, just going off on him or whatever. And this is where things got fantastically good because the crowd's eating it up we eating it up the chat was eating it up. i know jay what are you doing this is what they want roman's laughing and smiling in the back paul Heyman smiling in the back because they all oh, we got him now and he and he tells jimmy you out you out the bloodline and so am i and super kicks roman right in the face to a humongous pop I mean, the pop was crazy. Crowd went crazy. We went crazy in the chat. Roman couldn't believe it. Paul couldn't believe it. Solo couldn't believe it. And then Solo tries to attack them. And then Jimmy kicks him in the face too. And he falls down. Paul Heyman gets out of Dodge. Roman's on the ground reeling. And he's like mad. Like he's going off like... How could you do this to me? As they about to walk out the ring, Jimmy and Jay, how could y'all do this to me? He's just going off. And then they stereo super kick him one more time to lay him out in the ring. Crowd is losing it. That was so chef's kiss. That was fantastic. It was so good to see because we've been wanting Jay to get some type of, some type of, I guess you can say revenge on Roman for all the times he was treated badly. This is three years in the making of finally Jay standing up for himself and kicking Roman straight in the face, which he should have did many years ago. This was great. I love it. This was fantastic. I'm going to go back and watch that clip just to really listen to how the crowd was reacting and just to relive that moment that was great that was so good jay kicking roman finally in the face and then jimmy and jay as the usos kicking roman one more time beautiful beautiful fantastic i'm ready for money in the bank we know it's gonna happen they're gonna set it up the usos versus roman and solo at Money in the Bank. Let's get it going. 
I get it. The title's probably not on the line, obviously. But this is such a good story. And people are highly invested in it. I am ready to see what they do with this. That was fantastic. Comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy that segment as much as I did? Because boy, oh boy, that segment was great. It is definitely worth watching. If you haven't seen it, go watch it in its entirety. You will not be disappointed, man. The kick that Jay Uso so desperately needed to do for so long, we finally seen it happen, and it was glorious. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K, and I'm still young, speed of YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all in the next one. Peace.